so apparently my tutorial videos are kind of popular but I noticed that there's actually uh, kind of not that many tutorials for the world editor which uh, I kind of not like right now but anyway so here you have a network thing we have to go to our entities and go to cursor which is yeah okay so we're gonna set up this train thing i.e. uh some reason this is on red um if we actually right click this you can actually bring up the tabs menu well in this case how to actually access it i believe it's a tutorial on this and of course i have the same setup for both uh, this is a mission map, so if anyone actually sees this online and uh, begins playing it, you know who made it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you can actually right click to place items. Yeah, I figured that was important. Even though there's no point, but yeah. And this is going to be like the only tutorial video on freaking YouTube, but anyway. So. While we de well, I'm going to make more terrain, which, as you can tell, I'm going left and right, I can't go through the black part. I know it sound a bit racist, but it's true. You can't go th you can't go down here, and you left-click to place down terrain on the terrain menu, or in this case, tap. But, uh, yeah. As you can tell, once you place down it, you can actually go through... You can actually set the map settings to very small if you'd like. Mind you, you will start in the corner. I kind of forgot where I started and I decided to do this. Uh, you can actually go in and do stuff. So let's say we have some random resources. Uh, you can actually put up the density. You left click to place it. You can actually keep clicking it. Also select it. You can actually um, place more resources here, and that's how you can do it. I do have mods, so there is some interesting resources showing up. Besides some sofa, which is kind of weird. Uh, oh yeah, this is from Bob's. You can also pirate this game, but I recommend buying it so you can actually get the experimental updates and it supports mods. <laughs> I also have some gold. I'm just going to spread around there. Isn't that pretty? Uh, as you can tell, there's actually an environment which you can place down a variety of trees, destroyed debris. Like, for example, if I want to make a broken train tracks, I can do that and it will replace the current train track. If you put it on something else, it may actually put down because it's environment. You also have... Um, the enemies, which has a variety of small, medium, big, and behemoth. Oh, it's the spitters, and all the way up to big worm, the biter spawner, and the spitter spawner. Kind of looks similar. Logistics, uh, you have like a lot of, but since I have mods, is like more added to this. Uh, you also have the ability to put down the equator things. So, yeah. Um, trying to wrap up now. You can also set up pipes, variety of products. Now, uh, items. <laughs> this kind of works the same way. Of course, this is the spawner right here. And we'll put down pretty much a time spawn. You right click to put it down. Same with these, like the items here that you can actually drop, and players will pick up. Cables, the same method of uh, doing stuff. Now, uh, as you can tell, I have to redesign this part, but uh, you can actually do the same thing because you can actually uh, left click and then left click again and it will remove the wire. But I don't want to do that. You can press Q to get out of your hand. Uh, in any form of matter besides uh, tiles. Uh, Okay, and I'm going to just put this up. So when you select a entity, now for some reason you have to go to... <laughs> you 
you actually have to go to logistics and then hover over a thing that you want to delete and press the X button to delete it. Some of these only works with this. I have no idea why. Oh wait, now I remember is logistics is the big stuff and um, this you can also delete the thing and then there you go. You can delete it with X2. Uh, that's pretty much it. How to actually run it. How to actually play. Well, in this case, a map edit on various of things. So, if there's no professional ones out there, mind you, I tried. So, if you don't like this tutorial, you know where that dislike button is. And, of uh, course, uh, hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you. Even though I have a paint gallery person in the background saying that this tutorial sucks. If you agree with him, leave a comment. And of course, if you see an ad on this video, uh, let me know because I'm trying to do ad free because ads are annoying. Plus, I need a ton of subscribers and I can go on and on and on about this. But anyway, thanks for watching.